we're back with more gem craft. All right, field E1 has crit poison slow. We can deal with that. Um, poison doesn't do a whole lot for me. Slow does a little bit with this. There's no armor. Crit is huge. Let's get the crit damage and combine costs down because it's 70 waves. So as long as I can survive the first few, which shouldn't be a problem. We should be good. Ooh, that's a lot of starting mana. It's kind of more than I need. There is a stash with 6,000 shields. It's okay, I have nothing else to do with the beams. This looks way too easy. The barricades are pretty weak. I mean, they do have a bunch of armor, so they're not super weak, but with bolts, they would go down really quick. You get pylons. So how many barricades do I have to take out before I can send them this way? I have to take out one, two, three, four. Doesn't seem too bad. Do have a bunch of armor. Huh. They don't start with much HP. So that would take out two of these barricades pretty quick and a lot of the enemies. Do I want tower here or do I put a trap here? We'll just put the tower. Can't duplicate that because it costs almost 4,000. Do I have it set to, yes, auto attack barricades? It's the only barricade I'm not taking out that I need to is this one. Once the barricade goes down, Kind of just want to be able to take out the rest of them too, but I don't know why. Okay. So now we can do that. This can go over here somewhere. I'm trying to think where I would put a fully amplified gem. Right here? That's not bad. And do I worry about this much? Not too much, but a little bit. Like throw beams onto that. Speaking of which, keep throwing beams on here. Just letting the mana pool fill up. Don't 
don't really need to blow that up. Here, we're going to turn off the auto fire I have barricades. Cool. Let the pool fill again. I don't know how much these poison things are really doing. I could be filling a pylon. Fill two pylons. Filling two pylons would be helpful. map seems very easy or just my wizard level is way too high for where it's at. Probably that. Probably shouldn't have put the beam on that. fills again at around 24,000, I believe. 25. I do need to take this out. Hey, and that filled up the pool. Perfect. We're almost through the shields on this wizard stash. 70 waves total? Yeah, so I still got time. Can I get to 43? Yes, with ease. I might have to spend a little bit before I get there. Hmm. All right, so let's start mazing this up a little bit. So I would like them to end here. For that, they go down through there. That should be it. close to this filling. Okay. Freeze those. Give this a bolt. You get one more beam. I have to set you to structure. That's why I wasn't getting through that quicker. Wasting the beams on enemies some of these times. So close. So, so close. I still haven't banished any yet. 
Okay, we're like right there. Just let the pool fill. There we go. And this is when I really want to get this gem moved over to here. We've done it. Probably send waves early now, but there are a lot of swarmlings. Should kill this thing. There we go. All right, I feel pretty good about that, I think. Maybe. Hmm. That thing took longer than I was expecting to take out. Here, kill that. There we go. Anything else I need to do? That should be it. Good to go. Edge Fragment, Rarity 73. That one's worth looking at. Also, 3,000 of these. Can I almost unlock a new spot? I think so. Almost. 3,600 for that one. Okay, so that was this one. This symbol is currently up top. I could switch over... I have two good ones for that symbol. I have no idea how I was organizing these. Okay, add that to the collection. Get rid of that one. Any that don't have symbols, I just don't want. 31, not the best. I have a lot of these symbols. Hmm. But I only have like three of them. That would work in one of these rows. Okay, so not enough to switch over. I'm just looking at all the other pieces. I don't see anything that stands out to me as, ooh, that would be a huge upgrade type thing. 42, 54. So do I have a good piece for this? No. I think I do have a good piece for this. This one. Rarity 69. It would have to change up the shape, but that's not too bad. Okay. I should just get rid of some of these. There we go. Made room. What else do I want to do? Ooh, one that looks like an ant. Ormic. All right. Field E2. Mana Steel, Armor Shred, and Poison. I didn't see how many waves. 62 waves. Monster's Nest. Monster's Nest. 
So they come from here, here, here. I mean, it seems like a really easy just build a tower with mana leech. And I think I could make it through 62 waves with just that. Swarmlings concern me a tiny bit, but not really. Here, we'll send that many. Beam on there, beam on there. Yeah, this feels <laughs> like I should just be grinding endurance mode by this point. I don't know if I want to send three waves of Swarmlings. We'll send them now. actually stuff starting to get through a little bit. Okay, this is actually a little bit concerning. I overestimated how strong these oranges would be. So the problem is I'm still 24, no, 22 waves out. And it's not easy to maze on this map. If I get to a grade 9, is that enough? I think I have to get to a grade 10 to beat wave 62. But I'm not sure. Hoping that sending waves early helps me get a little bit more mana. I think it's mostly just XP though. The mana only comes from there being the additional spawns. That doesn't seem too bad. How has this taken damage? Oh, damage taken limited at 162, so that's a good mana leech target. Pool's about to fill.
I have a ton of extra mana too. When this drops, it does blow stuff up. I don't think it'll reach this, but just in case, we'll move back. Kill a spire. Okay, never mind. A grade nine was enough that it should handle this fine. Their armor's only up to 383. Plus, I didn't even build amplifiers. I was going to build amplifiers. I think I would just do it right there. That makes it hard to hit things with a beam. So you can have a beam. You can also have a beam. I don't know why I'm building stuff at the last minute when I've already got a win. Sweet. Rarity 9. Why are you giving me Rarity 9 pieces this late into the game? I should be reading these. I met Aspire, the towering walker of the forgotten. In my frozen dreams, I saw her creating three abominations and how efficient they were in battle, leaping over the obstacles and crash landing on the orbs of fellow wizards. They won thousands of battles for the Forgotten, allowing her to get dangerously close to the Spirit Forge before being corrupted. Captured last time. Oops. Reading is tough. And now these walking towers roam all around, clearing the path for her. Will she be successful this time and take the Spirit Forge? The shield should still repel any of her attacks. I don't know why I'm so bad at reading. That almost looks like a don't starve drawing over there on the left. I like it. All right, back to the map. Next time, I think we're going to check out field E3. Keep progressing through the story. For now, that does it for this video. Thanks for watching.